Yo, hey, it's this time of the year where, you know, the excitement is at the highest, playoff hockey. Um, you know, we're obviously excited about uh, continue playing and we're going to Amherst. We know it's a very good team, well-coached team, a uh, team that's, uh, you know, battle-tested, has won a lot of games. And, you know, we feel that we've got some kids in our locker room who are also battle-tested, have won a lot of games and been in a lot of big games over the last two or three years. And, um, you know, the, the playoffs are so exciting, yet they could be... Uh, it could be an abrupt ending as we know, right? And particularly in this format, it's a one and done format. Um, so you got to bring it uh, each and every, uh, each game you got to bring. And that's, that's been the focus and the message to our players. Um, and then, you know, our purpose and our focus here in practice has been good the last couple of days. Um, and we'll just continue to, you know, battle and, and practice well, both tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and we'll get up to Amherst and we'll get on the ice there Saturday sometime late afternoon and then play Sunday afternoon. So, um, you know, we'll be ready. Um, our kids will be prepared. And as I said, you know, a lot of them didn't get the chance, not a lot of them, all of them, none of them got the chance last year to play in the playoffs. So, you know, today's the day, you know, a year ago from today was when everything came to an abrupt end in, in sports. And, um, you know, we've got our pause was, which, which I thought was going to be two weeks. So it's been 365 days, the pause. So uh, glad that we're back playing in the playoffs. And, and this is what you play for. Questions? You mentioned having last year cut short. Um, does that play any additional factor into this year? Is there any sort of vengeance kind of feeling in the locker room for you guys? No, I don't think there's any any vengeance. I mean, it's hey, you know, every year is is a different year, and uh, even if we played the playoffs, you know, this year w would bring its own uniqueness to it. And you know, this year's team is you know uh, is is hey, we're grateful we've had a season that we've played 20 games. We're grateful that we're we're still playing. And as you know, your know, other programs have not been able to continue playing in the playoffs because of COVID and COVID protocols and whatnot. So, um, you know, we're grateful we're playing, but at the same time, hey, now that we're playing, you know, and we're in the playoffs, you know, there's a reason why they keep a scoreboard is and that's, you know, so we can see who the winner and losers are at the end of the night. And, you know, our goal is to make sure that, you know, we play well and, 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 and win. And so we can continue advancing, you know, to our ultimate goal of winning hockey's championship. Hey coach, um, you guys have the best power play percentage in hockey East. Well, Massachusetts has the best penalty kill percentage in the hockey East. How do you see that, um, like your guys' power play versus their penalty kill being an important matchup uh, Saturday or uh, Sunday? Yeah, and you know I think they're clicking at I think it's ninety percent or ninety one percent on their PK. Um, you know, and, and you said, I think we're right around 28%. And, you know, we played them, you know, a couple times uh, in early January, I think it was January 1st and 2nd. And, um, you know, uh, you know, whatever, I mean, I know what we got, but that, it's really irrelevant uh, at this point. I mean, you got to go out and execute. They know how we're going to run our power play. We know how they're going to kill uh, for the most part. So it's all about execution at that point and uh, making plays. And, um, you know, effort's important this time of the year, but it's it's production that is what's rewarded. And we're going to have to produce on the power play. And uh, and we've got confidence in the power play. We've got a good group of two units that, that can score there. And, um, you know, whatever, whatever group and unit executes the best is going to be successful, whether it be us scoring or them killing it off. There was the possibility you had everyone stayed healthy that you would have played Wednesday night. Um, you know, are, are you glad to have had the extra rest or would you have liked to have gotten a game in this week? Or? Yeah, no, Andrew, absolutely. Uh, the rest has, has been very helpful for us uh, just to get some healthy bodies back. Um, you know, we've been banged up a lot down the stretch. Even kids who have been playing have been banged up. And, you know, we were trying to get that by before, you know, before we knew that Merrimack had a pause, um, you know, and that's why down the stretch those last couple of games against Providence and of course Boston College were important to us. And, you know, so we, we got the bye um, because of, you know, situation, unfortunate, an unfortunate situation at Merrimack. And, but the rest has been good and we've been able to, um, you know, practice, you know, what we played last Friday and, you know, take Saturday off practice, you know, Sunday, Monday, then take Tuesday off and then get into our, our normal week of, you know, four days before a game beginning Tuesday, Wednesday, excuse me, Wednesday, today, Thursday, tomorrow and Saturday. So um, it, it's been helpful to us uh, from, from a 
from a, a health perspective. Coach, you mentioned having a bunch of uh, injuries throughout the year, and that's been reflected in the lineup sheet. You know, you've had to mix up the lines a whole lot. Has that made your team deeper and more cohesive as a as a unit as the season gone on? Yeah, it, it's given guys an opportunity to play, so uh, you have more confidence as, as a coaching staff. Uh, if you have to make certain changes, or whether it be injury or just because of coach's decision, that other guys can come in and play. Um, so that's been good. Yes, it's everyone wants to feel part of it. Everyone wants to contribute. So from a team you know, dynamic and perspective, that's a good thing too. So everyone feels that they're contributing. And and we talked about early in the season, you know, there's going to be coaches decisions during the season where you can only dress 21 skaters, but it's going to take everyone, you know, to win. Um, and at some point, everyone's going to be called on to contribute to the team. And that's what's happened this year. So, um, you know, at times you always like to go with, you know, what you think is your your best lineup. Um, but we believe that, hey, we've got a lot of uh, interchangeable parts there. Um, but it's it's also nice to get some of the kids back who, who haven't played in a little bit um, and, and getting them back in the lineup. And that's what I foresee happening here on uh, Sunday. Speaking of injuries, you get this question every week, so I guess I'll bite the bullet this time. You have a couple of kids who, you know, start in World Juniors who have not in the lineup for a while. Any update on either of them? Or um, I'm Devin Levi will will, will not uh, play, um, and he's he's probably uh, the, the chances of him coming back are very slim. Um, and Sam Colangelo um, is is trending that he'll be ready to play uh, for Sunday. So we're excited where his progress is right now and uh, and he's feeling really well. So um, that's a good sign for us. And a couple of guys who are playing, um, who have been playing, have been who have been banged up, they've, they've gotten a little healthier here too by giving them some days off. So that's a good thing too for us. Coach, there's a possibility that you guys are more on the fringe of making the NCAA tournament, only 16 teams. You guys are ranked 20th. How much of that is a thought in your, you're in, in the locker room's mind right now? Or is it, just, let's go out and win on Sunday? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, hey, certainly being part, getting to the NCAA tournament is a, is a goal every year, as is winning Hockey East. Um, you know, we we're approaching it. Hey, to get to the tournament, we got to win hockey East, but there's prestige. We want to win hockey. East. it's not just let's get to the tournament. It's let's do well in hockey East to win hockey East and then advance the tournament. So, um, but our focus, you know, it's a singular focus. It's, it's Sunday afternoon at, at Amherst. Uh, they're a very good hockey club. I mean, it's going to take all our focus, all our attention, you know, and energy on UMass, um, for Sunday for us to, you know, um, to, to, to not have to worry about other things that there's enough there to worry about and focus in on, which is what we've done. And, you know, we respect that their club, they're a very good hockey club. And as I said before, well coached. So, um, you know, we're excited about the opportunity to play them in, in, uh, you know, in the quarterfinals here. You mentioned way earlier about how this was a one and done game. You guys haven't had the bean pot or the tournament over in Belfast to really have those uh, high pressure games going into this one. Can you talk a little bit about how the squad is, is preparing for that? Yeah, no, you're right. And and we didn't have the playoffs last year, right, for our freshmen. So they did not participate in in the in the uh, playoffs. So if you look at our class this year, which is the case with any university, right, freshmen and sophomores have not participated in the playoffs. Uh, for any of our colleges. So, um, you know, so that's a little bit different, unique. We're drawing on the experience of our older guys, you know, the seniors and the juniors who have been there, who have won championships. Um, and we're, you know, a lot of those kids who have not been a part of maybe Hockey East playoffs, they've been part of, of league championships, whether it be in prep school or high school or junior hockey. So, uh, so, and have been part of the playoffs where they've advanced, maybe not won the whole thing, but advanced. So, you know, they have a pretty good feel, um, you know, about playoff hockey. Now it's altogether different at this level. There's no doubt about it. Um, and that's where we're drawing a little bit on our experience from our older guys.